problem from tangential and normal acceleration in plane car and the problem is prove that the acceleration of a point moving in a car with uniform speed is rho into psi dot whole square clear here it is given that uniform speed okay since speed is uniform so we get b s b t this is equal to constant and this relation gives d2 s by d t2 this is equal to 0 by differentiating this result right now we know in a rough sketch this is the tangential direction and this is the normal direction and we know that this direction the tangential acceleration act and in this direction normal acceleration act and this is any point p x y and the tangent at p if cut x axis at t then we know that the angle between the tangent and x axis is taken to be psi clear and the tangential acceleration is d2 s by dt2 or dv dt or v dv ds we know and the normal acceleration is d square value okay so from this relation we get tangential acceleration ft this is equal to 0 because this is d2s by dt2 and ft is d2s by dt2 now resultant acceleration is given by this is equal to f and given by f t square plus f n square ok so f this is equal to 0 square plus f n square means f n and this is given by v square by rho clear now we calculate the value of psi dot and this is given by d psi by dt and this is also given by ds by dt into ds by dt into d psi by ds okay this is the value of psi dot and ds by dt is also given by the velocity v or speed and this is the value of d s by d psi so v by rho clear and we get psi dot square this is equal to v square by rho square and from this relation we get v square by rho this is equal to rho into psi dot square and we know from this relation that v square by rho is f this is resultant acceleration and we put here this is f because this is v square by rho so resultant acceleration is f this is equal to rho into psi dot square and this is the proof of this problem. Okay, thank you, thank you for watching.